Hello, hello. Are you Walter? Uh, doing well, doing well. Just back from uh, the gym. And uh, I feel like I died twice. So. Did you do any uh, squats? Yeah, yeah, squats and uh, deadlifts. So. Painful, painful. What about uh, hip thrusts? Hip thrusts. That's for, t uh, that's for within a couple of hours, sir. There you go. Yes. It appears everyone is uh, enjoying the weather or something. Yeah, it's a, it's a slow day. It's a slow day. Aaron Potted, though, has a lot of updates that he wants to talk about. Should bring him on stage. I don't know if I can do that, though. I don't see him yet. Or does he change? Ah, there he is. Yeah, I can do that if I just speak. Let's wait until we have at least more than five people. So there's more people on stage and audience now. <laughs> I keep inviting him. I wonder. <laughs> he keeps taking it down. He said he passes today. Invites will continue until morale improves. Hey, we finally got over 33. <sighs> it's, uh... It's a bit of a shame. Typically we get 100, right? Like, where is everyone? We got, last week I think we were about 70, but that was about 15 minutes into the call. Maybe they're too early, I don't know. We have a lot of like West Coast people. Should just call it like bingo, bingo time. Oh. I just had like six shots of espresso and I feel like I could take a nap. That's weird. It's not how it's supposed to work. I know. I know. I do have an update though. I have an update, a community update. Got my couch. What? Okay, uh, let's wait until we have 45 and then we're gonna start. I've been waiting for a couch since October. And I've been like, there's been nothing here. I've been actually sitting on like a toolbox, like to watch TV or sitting on the floor. And I finally have a couch. It is everything that I hope for. Yeah, people are just leaving. That's not. Okay, let's, let's just start. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome at our weekly community call. Um, nice for the ones that are here to be here. Um, 
Yeah, I think it's it's been a not too eventful full week, right? So we had a couple of things happening as always. Um, but uh, yeah, all in all, I think very stable. Um, as said, like the price might fluctuate a bit, but that's not very very relevant um, for us at least. Um, inverse bonds. Are, are, are still still working. Uh, uh, Potted, if you want to come and on stage and talk about that, always welcome. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I, here we have some updates from from Jason apparently. So Jason, if you can like accept that you have a couch, um, uh, talk a bit like what we, what do we want to talk about today? Uh, so what has been going on with policy? Um, let me think. So there's going to be a proposal coming out pretty soon for liquidity. That's pretty important, taking a strategic next step in terms of entering into an ecosystem that we believe will be able to fit a lot of our needs right now. Um, we are, there's a several contracts like incurred debt, for example, you know, things like that, that will help expand the Olympus ecosystem. Those contracts are in audit. Um, and, you know, like I said, currently working or like we said before, you know, yes, it's kind of a quiet period, but, you know, inverse bonds have been doing quite well in terms of stability, stabilizing the market. Um, and right now we're going through every possible scenario and, and sort of um, creating simulations and what if scenarios and defining best practices when approaching the range stability model. Um, so that's been really good as well. Um, there's a couple of treasury things that are happening, but it's more minor on that end. Um, yeah, kind of looking at that. Okay. <laughs> on uh, the treasury side, uh, just some small updates. I think we uh, said last week as well, we have from the OM eat pool on, on Curve and of course Convex as well, we have engaged there. Um, which we are informing and voting for. So if you have some OM and EAT and you want to uh, to form that as well, you're always welcome, but it's not really necessary. I think we get 107% APR on that, so it's quite nice. That's what we've been doing there, especially since bribes have dropped. This is a um, very, very efficient uh, uh, use case for Convex that we still, still hold. Um, that's that some other things um yeah recently we have uh of course diversified with with, with some fay i think fay now also is having um like the the reimbursement uh proposal for their hack which is an interesting one um which is up i think we are delegating there to um to make sure that they uh, that we vote for that reimbursement um if you have some tribe, please delegate it to, I think, Tetranote is also voting for reimbursement. Always good to, to, to have that. So if you hold that, if you hold any tribe, please help uh, us out there as well. Uh, some other things, OIP99 will go to um, to a snapshot, I think, relatively soon. It was it has been posted uh, three days ago. Um, vote is overwhelmingly yes, like it's only, I think, what is it, 24K worth of ETH in our FDT that we would put up, um, which is which is not a lot. And in the meantime, we can then also form Balancer uh, on that pool. So that pool, I think, is, is, is yielding also 140% or something. Yield of balance or not that that's what we why we do it, but it's uh, yeah, it's a nice nice extra. Um, that is that. We of course are also um, yeah looking forward to uh, to some other things happening. I think the uh, Arbitrum ecosystem will have an airdrop soon as well. I think Arbitrum will see again the increased demand that way. We have some partners over there with Topex, Shonestyle, others as well. Um, so quite excited to see that and then we can... There's yeah. there's some of that. Like No, it, for that there is uh, both of these, which is an upgrade that's happening that will allow us to scale Olympus as well. So when you think about cross-chain, one of the things that we think about is sort of protocol on liquidity on Arbitrum and, and kind of s spreading out to these different chains, what that might look like. So there has been discussions around that in terms of um, what are the next steps? How do we want to approach it? What does the final state want to look like? 
um, and kind of appropriately planning for that. So we've been doing that. And then the other thing is a lot of conversations around on-chain governance. So, um, you know, that's going to be hand in hand kind of with range stability. There's going to be kind of a separation of treasuries. And so, um, you know, a portion of reserve assets will be completely on chain governed uh, by the community, which would be really, really dope. And then the other thing that is coming as well is an update to the treasury dashboard. So one of the things that we realize is that it's a lot of information and it's some of it's very difficult to maintain and make sure that it's accurate and precise at all periods of time depending on where the information is going through. So we've been putting together sort of a single, quote unquote, single source of truth or a back end um, with a bunch of different OMIs. It's been a collaborative effort across uh, a bunch of contributors to try to basically make sure we have a sound source of all of our data representation and visualization, and then also a simplification of the treasury dashboard because we realize that a lot of it is, is too much. So just sort of, you know, um, consolidating it down to what we feel are the most important metrics. Um, and you will also see an update to the range stability that will be part of the front end as well. Oh, one last thing. More discussions around internal bonds. So there's a lot of stuff uh, in terms of like, what, are the, what does that look like? What does the yield curve look like? What sort of vault, like vaults would we have? Um, so a lot more discussions around that. So really just sort of piecing together and deliberating on these next big, huge core, pro, like core protocol upgrades and making sure that everyone's rock solid and aligned and how we want to approach that. Mm, exactly. Talking about rock solid, also very excited about uh, DN. So um, we're looking forward to that. Um, how do you get the ARP from airdrop? It's it's like you have to participate in like fifteen different protocols, and every day you can get a you can get an airdrop uh, based on that. I, I I think relatively soon we'll also have a proposal on uh, funding a grant for um, Artemis, which I'm personally, of course, involved in. Um, basically, helping to fund education of the next generation. Um, of, of builders aligning the vision with uh, Olympus's vision. That sort of stuff I hope you have seen, um, seen uh, the, the website and so on. So it's of course also a bit uh, Olympus teams. Basically, I wanted to uh, help the education on, on how to build the economy and, and Artemis I think is a great uh, step in that. So hopefully I can also um, encourage you all to vote for that to, uh, before or against, that's up to you. Um, let's see. FOMO, yes. So FOMO is the 17th of uh, June at 8 UTC, 8 p.m. UTC, um, in which we'll have um, a panel discussion on uh, of coming of age of uh, Olympus and our partners. So, for example, Sam from Frax will be there, uh, Joey from Tribe. Uh, we'll have Chala, very own Chala, who's also on stage here and, and is saying nothing. Uh, we have um, Viscantes as well, who was also at our very first FOMO uh, one. And uh, yeah, it will be very fun and then a lot of games before and after. Um, Chala's eating ice cream. Mm, sure. Um, 8 p.m. UTC is, I think, uh, 11 a.m. California time. Um, let's see. I oh, know. No, no, no. Sorry. That's uh, indeed 1, uh, 1, 1 p.m. California time. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any other questions? It will be recorded too. Yes, and as always, it will be live streamed on Twitch and recorded as well. So you can uh, watch it back and... Um, yeah, enjoy it. Once more, we'll have some other things that we'll show, like a bit of a demo on, on for example, both of these, um, range stability. Um, yeah, Zeus will um, play something on his, uh, on his flute, like what he learned on in school, uh, some music. Um, it will be cool. Let's see. <laughs> Shreddy wants to come on stage. Uh, Boab 
Yeah, we can do a pop. Yeah, like I, I never understood what people see in pops, but I can. Uh, it can be arranged. If people have any questions, as always, you can put up your hands to come on stage. Um, there will 100% be a pop. Okay, when will Shreddy come on stage? I don't know. He said he's driving at the moment. Okay. So we don't want him to crash. It seems to be that everyone is having like an off week. Uh, we have 50 people. The chat is mainly about Freddy. So uh, Freddy should yeah. only text instead of actually talk. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Do I need to buy a microphone to speak? Can I just talk? In, yeah, you can just talk into the speaker of your laptop. Make sure to have like a tinfoil hat on though, because the, the waves will uh, fuck you up elsewhere. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Any other questions that are related to almonds or Freddy? Uh, it's uh, always nice. Off topic lately has been taken over by, uh, it seems, middle aged dads. Um, so, if people sure. want to change that and <laughs> uh, always welcome enough topic to, to battle them. Maybe there should be like a civil war between dads and apes or something. Um, could be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, <clears throat> the mad gang, yeah, indeed. I saw it on Twitter and I, and I cringed very, very hard. Um, let's see, dads can be apes too. That, that's, that's also true. Yeah, Polly, you're you're not the definition of an ape. Sorry, you're uh, you're the biggest boomer there is. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? We have um, the Aura LBP that is going live. I think it's also interesting just to look at. Um, went live two hours ago. Um, it can it can help us also. I think um, we will be a bit more active on Balancer as well. Um, so hopefully Aura can, can be that extra uh, that extra kick <laughs> that, that helps Balancer to get more TVL and also uh, maybe allows us to, to send some more uh, TVL there. I think right now we have one pool. Let me check it out. That has a bit of um, liquidity, but not a lot. Let's see. Switch to mainnet, oof. Switch network. Any plans to create an Olympus mega city on Illuvium? See, that's exactly the type of things that we don't need to do, in my opinion. If other people want to do that, no. they can. But we are never going to do that from our side. Oh, so we have a pool indeed of 7.7 uh, .7 million on Balancer, which is quite nice. Um, it's an ohm. 50% die and wrapped eat 25% pull. Um, some volume, 100k. That's not bad. My voice is very distinctive. Instantly would be doxed. And that's what I thought of myself too, but apparently when you see me in real life, you don't really have that because I sound like every other person from my region. Uh, any, uh, let's see. Just talk a higher pitch. Yeah, that's true. I think it's very important to uh, to have a very distinctive voice. Yeah. So we had a question about the walls the model. <laughs> Never sorry, said again. Sorry to disturb that. Sorry to disturb that. I, I ruined it for everybody. Uh, is, if this isn't bear market community call, I don't know what is. So um, yeah, go ahead, uh, Jello. Talk about uh, the walls. Um, yeah, so the code is done um, and it should be entering audit soon and um, continuing to like run simulations uh, on like op various scenarios um, and always continuing to improve it. Um, and then considering like working with like an external firm on like really juicing up the like scenario, um, like running like um, with agents um, to like enhance enhance our understanding of like various outcomes so like work continues to pace 
Um, but should be entering audit soon, I guess, is the, is the update. Important question. Um, do we own the world's largest diamond, yes or no? Can either confirm you don't. Yeah. yeah, like Richard Hart, Hart of Hart has that. And uh, he has Lambos, so some questions we got. Um, so indeed, external juicing firms are helping. What 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 does it mean? Like, uh, is that is that a like a quant firm? Is that uh, people that are looking into how that liquidity would go? Um, what should I imagine with external juicing firms? External <laughs> juicing firms, um, firms that specialize in agent-based simulation. Uh, okay. so nothing set in stone yet, but like we're considering like uh, working again like with a team like that uh, to enhance the simulations. So Asian-based simulation, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so external juicing firms, uh, that, that's a tweet right there. Um, where are all the hot singles in my area? They uh, flee away because they see that uh, a predator is in their neighborhood, so. Um, let's see, <laughs> agency said Asian. <laughs> Okay, anything else, Shella? Now your ice cream is finished. I'm not finished. Um, it's okay. important to know what flavor. Um, it's Hagen Dazs, pure chocolate ice cream. Okay. Jeez, it's the good stuff. Boring. Yep. Boring. That, that just sounds like a, like a serial killer or something. I feel like people who would eat pure chocolate ice cream would be like a Hitler or something like that. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Not the first Mentor. time. Not the first time I've been, I've been accused <laughs> of being Hitler. That's what you find at a crime scene after a murder. Half eaten open Hagen Dazs. Pure, Pure chocolate. chocolate Hagen Dazs, yes. <laughs> it's literally the ass. I'm imagining you as the, as the ass eater meme right now, the ass eater Pepe. Where is the ass meme? Hold on a second. Yes, that's, that's Jala. <laughs> Yes. Just ruined the whole recording here. Oh no. Crap the entire thing. Yeah, well there's that. You can just you can just cut that part out. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We need a live a live bleeping tool. Yeah. How um, you doing Shreddy? Oh. We got What's up? How's it hanging? It hangs. It hangs. Well, I think, and after after watching the Ethereum community call, we need like a guy with a guitar talking about the urge to merge. We need like these sound effects. It could be me. Urge to of merge. Jeopardy and stuff. Maybe maybe I could yeah. live mix. You guys remember when I did the song sound bank? That was a fun event. We did a call with Treasure Treasure Dow. And I like made music. Um, but yeah, that song a day guy. He's like the he's like the the worst people, right? Like, <laughs> he's still good though. What are music NFTs? Can someone explain them? Hmm. Yeah. Good question. Um anything else to update on the protocol? Uh, else we can make this a... Uh... Um, let's see. So liquidity, treasury, we covered that. On-chain governance, we covered that. Bofities, walls. Uh, FOMO. OIPs, forums. Treasury dash V2. Um, you guys are good. Yeah, I feel like we've, we've covered a lot. Of, it's always busy. Like, you know, it's not... You know, the market is kind of slow right now, like low. It's just people don't really know what to do right now, right? Like it's right in the middle of 50-50, up or down. Like there's just all sorts of weird stuff going on. Like th there's just apprehension in the market. And so, um, you know, a lot of the discussions, you know, people are keep working, keep building, keep pushing, um, you know, just trying to make sure that we can 
make sure that we are still driving and pushing towards the mission and vision and then other people, you know, for adoption that people are creating that network effect, the Olympus network effect. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we covered it's it's a lot of like a lot of discussions right now. So it's, it's nothing like super concrete. But that's why it feels like maybe we didn't cover a lot, but there's a lot of stuff happening. We um, touched on. Yep, everybody's tagging the tribe vote. Yeah, please go vote. For I the saw tribe. Mr. Mr. Tetra Chungus come into the general chat today. It's nice to see him. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're working on uh, being able to vote as well. Be, I don't know if Pod is there, but I think some people have some questions on the in, like once we hit 120 day moving average and like, you know, what are the implications of having reserve bonds at that point as well? I don't know, Jala, if you want to speak to that. Yeah, we're kind of, we were kind of joking about it in the chat. Uh, but we'll see. I think, you know, at, at meaningful levels of both backing, right, we want to be able to increase the size of the treasury. Right? And especially in a creative manner of token holders. So, um, yeah, we'll reevaluate. We want to like keep the momentum up, but it doesn't make sense to continue, uh, you know, buying forever uh, about backing. But obviously, we'll respond to the market. So we'll see. I mean, eventually, right? Like the the model. Um, like range stability will kind of have both elements, right? And and, and like the like the uh, it was centered around like market driven price. It'll be more autonomous. Yeah, I mean, the, the ultimate idea at the end of the day is, and in some of the conversations that we're having is, you know, how do we, how do we set up the protocol for longevity, you know, because eventually we're going to kind of take our hands off the wheel and or off the wheels, if you will, or the helm or whatever you want to use. Um, but eventually Olympus will be kind of, a lot of it will be automated. Yeah, I think you could think of like this current stage is like um, getting to the place we want to be for range stability, and then um, once we like get to that area, we will approximate the range stability model like more manually uh, through inverse bonds and regular bonds, um, and then um, you know uh, the model uh, will take over from there eventually. But yeah, I'm not like too worried about near term like movements. Like I think it's good right now that we continue to show strength um, in a weak market, um, but long term, that's not really what matters. I think we want to like show strength for the long term. Well said. Let's see if there's. Other people asking questions. Talking about broken toes. People wanting weird pictures. Jesus. A lot, of, a lot of feet talk today, guys. <laughs> what people want in this economy. Hey, man. And Wardle, if you feel bad about attendance today, you should have seen Policy After Dark on Friday. I think there was a whopping five people that showed up. Hey, everyone got sick of hearing Shadow talk about his shorts. Uh. Yeah, oh, it's a GM index. Ah, I haven't checked in the GM index in a while. When home concave on the concave AMM? Oh, uh, never. I don't even know if concave has an AMM yet. They launched AMM. That's not the comments. <laughs> um. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
it's it like I think the primary focus should be right now is is less about spreading too thin. It's more so around making sure that we're doing what is going to bring the maximum amount of impact and value back to the ohm holders and the ohm token as much as possible. So and that and that's being really strategic and very intentional about where, what, and how. As opposed to like, oh yeah, let's just try to get a bunch of utility everywhere. Because the reality is a lot of people aren't really necessarily, um, they're not leveraging or there's low liquidity, there's low volume, there's low this, there's low that. And so um, it's just an off market. So right now the most important thing is to prove OM as this sort of safe haven asset and you know build appropriately such that when the market does recover, that we're nicely positioned to lever to 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 really get exposure to that growth and to that upside. It's just less around like it's it's more around making sure increasing the Olympus network. Um, there are some there are there has been a lot of partnership conversations around like using Ohm as a currency, um, you know, for like debit cards and payments and all sorts of stuff. Trying to really get out there in terms of utility for ohm outside of just traditional maybe web3 integrations so there's been a lot of discussions on that um and then a few like conversations with more bigger institutions um that might want to leverage ohm in in their own way Yeah, I think Mover is still happening. Yes, Mover is happening. And for all the U.S. folks, Mover is coming to the U.S. So if you want to buy, you know, a body pillow or a gaming mouse from Best Buy, you can do that. Chipotle, I'm going to go crazy. Oh my god, I want some Chipotle right now. I just went grocery shopping, but I kind of want Chipotle now. Do we know if the if the mover card um, actually does like real-time AMM swap, or is it like a top-up one like a lot of the other products out there? Do we have any idea? I think it's top-up. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully they have an app or something that makes that easy. Otherwise, <laughs> kind of a pain. Yes, the only problem is I don't want to part with my precious GM. That's good that's one. true. Yeah, I mean, eventually though, like I've been you know, one of the things that I've been even thinking about is what is the long term implications of Olympus? You know, like for example, Ethereum Layer One versus Layer Twos, and I know Jala. I forgot. I forget how you worded it, but you worded it really well, which was like. Layer one, it's a this and that, and layer two, it's a cash. I forgot exactly how you worded it, though. Do you remember? This and that. Probably like a fascist or something. <laughs> um, no, I remember you saying something about like layer one's like almost we're gonna, like a layer two cash. We're going to have to delete like this episode. One savings or something. Um... Yeah, I had this uh, rant at some point about uh, like ohm, like an analogy between like uh, L ones and L twos, and like ohm and like L one uh, monies, right? So, like in the same way that like um, currencies are, are like are, are the ohm currency is built on top of other money, right? And it's meant to be like this like more stable, high throughput. Um, currency like built on top of Ethereum, like Bitcoin, the US dollar, right? Um, you know, other assets. Um, in the same way that like L2s are like meant to be that like high throughput uh, functioning system built on top of the L1. So like Ohm is to Ethereum as like Arbitrum is, or Ohm is to ETH as Arbitrum is to Ethereum. Right? That's That's sometimes how I think about it. And like, not not that they're competitive per se, but everything is symbiotic.
More like a That's beautiful, man. Yeah, more like a Buddhist, yeah. <laughs> it's all about creating a network, and it's all about creating stability and trust. It's a tr it's a game of trust right now, honestly. Because if you if you look at a lot of people, they're moving into stable homes because they trust in the value retention. So. What Olympus is doing right now is is proving that. So it's it's reinforcing the concept. It's reinforcing the the narrative of what we're trying to sort of accomplish here. Also, my joke might have been a little bit more rude than I intended it to, but it was supposed to say that just plain chocolate ice cream is kind of boring. But I'm I, I'm yeah. much I'm much, more, I'm much more a fan of like I'm not, I'm not like any anything crazy like orange dreamsicle or anything wild like that. But I like I agree, yeah, I, I'm not a huge Hitler fan. I like um, you know, this, <laughs> make that I'm not a huge really Hitler quickly. fan. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what a statement, mate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not here nor there on Hitler, you know. But like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can we close this call because it's, it's train wreck all, all from the start? Jala, are you um, pouring M and M's into the ice cream? Is that what you're telling? Oh, me? yes. It's actually genius. Yeah. Can we start over? When can it's like an ice cream cone? When can we expect the uh, the updated Treasury Dash? Is that in the coming days or? Um, I would say probably within like uh, a month or so, just because we okay. don't want to launch. We, we don't want to launch with MultiFarm. We want to build the back end in terms of data, then launch the dashboard at the same time. So MultiFarm is really good as a partner to get us to where we are to showcase and be transparent. But we, if people are coming to our dashboard and they look at our metrics. We want to be sure that they are seeing accurate numbers and precise numbers. So there are people that write like threads and take pictures and, you know, Drew and others get a litany of questions within the Discord on, oh, what about this asset? No, I see this and I see that and da 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 And it just, it just is a headache, right? Um, it's almost every day I have to log on and fix something. So, um, yeah, so it should launch when we have a more unified backend. Are you legit dead ass eating a jar of M and M's? Oh. Honestly, oh God. bullish. Looks like Costco, Costco style. <laughs> Costco docs. <laughs> oh, is this like Kirkland brand? It's got the M on it. It does have the M on it. I hate you all so much. My previous company would be very upset if Costco was. Uh, well, I guess they could maybe do a portion. I don't know. Actually, where they make M and M's is really cool. They have like these various different drums, and it's like super like it's an all white room, and then you see these huge drums of these little pellets, right? The M and M pellets, and it would just would be you'd hear this like shh, shh, shh like these waves of M and M's encoded and they would be in these giant drums it was really cool are the red ones bad no they're all made at the same time but they're like made in this i wish i could show it to you it's kind of like that like white room when you see morgan freeman and he's god in that one movie it's like that white and then it's just these huge drums with these very vibrant colors of m&ms and various things cool anyway that's yeah like rambled there a bit i feel like you Order rum raisin ice cream. I don't. I know. No, I usually mix it up. Has anyone ever had Jenny's ice cream? I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is, mm -mm. bro. Mm. Lay it down. Come on now. Oh man. I think we should save this really spicy stuff for uh, policy after dark. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> This is horrible. Uh, let's <laughs> let's all move to off topic and um, talk about our kids and uh, buying uh, bikes and stuff and, and, and eating M&M ice cream and um, let's let's uh, keep the good stuff for for next week for a community call and then uh, hopefully we have some more 
news and a uh, higher attendance and uh, we can go from there. Wait, was this not the OT call? No, no, unfortunately it, it, it wasn't. Um, can you do an ice cream decorating contest? This is not this is not a dating show on Netflix, uh, Homeward. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, good. No, so so uh, let's let's quit early here. Um, it's it's all uh, went downhill. So it's <laughs> not a joke. It's uh, it's fun to see to see the diehards here. Uh, Fifty of you. Um, yeah, I hope. Um, Next week, we have some, some more news for you all. Thank you all for joining. We have also, of course, uh, FOMO next week. So I hope you all um, will be ready. Tell, tell everyone you know that, for example, you, you, you shilled Oman uh, seven months ago and that they that don't, don't talk to you anymore because whatever. <laughs> also, make sure that they come uh, so they can see yeah, that, that, that we're still still building and then that, that uh, yeah, this is this is something that you actually want to buy or want to hold during during these times. Uh, and excited to see you all there. And of course, the day before we'll have like a festive uh, community call as well, with uh, with a little twist. So um, I hope that is um, something you also look forward to. Thank you, everyone, and see you um, see you around. Bye. Thank you for coming on stage as well, guys. See ya.